Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm in a video recording mood today, so I am going to cover MACD in this video, mainly because I have done about two videos on Fibonacci and I'm kind of burnt out on it, so I want to try to change it up. I plan on doing another video after this too. Um, uh, I'm in the mood, so I might as well keep this momentum going, you know what I mean? Make as much content as I can while I'm in the mood. I guess I'm getting old, so... I have to keep up with it, you know. But uh, anyways, MACD is a very simple tool. You can figure it out on your own. There's no nothing stopping you from correlating what's on this chart to what's on this chart, okay? So what do you see here? We see a blue line and a red line. I don't like those lines. You know why? Because they're hard to see. So what I'm going to do is highlight this like that. Then I'm going to right-click it. It didn't work. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Uh, and I don't see settings here. There's where settings are right here. You see, well, there it is, the little cogwheel. And you can see the histogram, MACD, and the signal. Now, these are all what they're saying is this is one of the lines, that's the other one, and that's the other one. You can see by the uh, lines right here that that's probably the bottom. I don't really know what those are for. I need to really look. I'm sorry, guys. I don't just don't know what these lines are for. I guess it shows you an increase in volume possibly <clears throat> versus a sell-off. Uh, I'm not 100%. That's what it looks like to me. But I do know what these lines, and that's what a MACD traditionally, that's what people look at when they use a MACD. Now, let's do a yellow line for this one. Like, let's make it as yellow as we can get. And I'm going to leave it real thin. We don't necessarily need it to be any thicker. So I'm going to go down here to the signal line now and make that one this light blue color. Just because it's easier to see, guys. Uh, and you can see the result right here. Maybe if I darken the line. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's a little better. Now, we can find a different color, though. Let's try that one. Yeah, I say that one's better. Let's stick with that. It's personal preference. All right, so just because I don't necessarily know what the yellow line and the blue line do doesn't mean I can't correlate what's going on up here to what's going on down here. Now, what do we see? When the yellow line is below the blue line, which is, is in this entire area right here, all right? So what do we see? Consolidation. And that's not as bad as dipping, but that shows you that this uh, the correlates when the yellow line is below the blue line. That's bearish. It means we're not going up. As soon as it crosses back above, look what happens. I mean, you can see where the dotted line crosses, where the yellow line crosses back above the blue, and look. We start taking off. When the yellow line stays above the blue until right here, now it's below. If you simply traded using the MACD alone, you would be in tether right now because the yellow line is below the blue line. And that is bearish, which means we're probably going down for a little bit. Now, this can really take a violent turn upwards. So not all hope is lost. The blue can even dip more. I'm not sure the extenuating circumstances that caused that to happen. <clears throat> I imagine volume has something to do with it. But, uh, you know, if you want, go on Investopedia and look up the inner workings of the MACD. There's a lot more to it than I'm going to explain here today. I am giving you a basic interpretation of how it works. That way, if you want to use it, you can. I know a guy that simply did a, an experiment where he traded when the, okay, so when the yellow line crossed above that, he would turn it, he would go into Bitcoin. He would take his money from Tether and put it into Bitcoin. I think he started with like a thousand dollars. This is my friend, Ernie. He's taught me a lot. Well, he would do that. He would simply make trades based on this chart alone. He didn't even pay attention to this. And he made quite a bit of money, if I remember correctly. Now, if you want to make this chart bigger, you see where the uh, the arrow is right now? You see how it kind of changes whenever I hit that MACD? Now, if you want to make it bigger, you can and do that. Now, this chart is going to be smaller, obviously, but you can always make it bigger later. If you want to be able to see all of the times it crosses, because it does. Look how uh, un stable this yellow line is i mean it's always above below and this entire bull run we've been quite far above it and it's been uh quite evident you know what i mean if you look at the macd we have been in a bull run and uh 
this looks a lot like the chart, uh, the way the chart looks. I just can't, I don't understand because these numbers over here don't jive with these. But like I said, I don't understand everything about the MACD. What I do understand are the basics. The yellow lines above it, that's bullish. Blue line is below, that's bullish. Now, if the blue line crosses the yellow line, that's the time to start thinking, hey, we may head down from here. And the uh, MACD is not, the judge, jury, and executioner. You don't need to only rely on the MACD. There's plenty of other indicators you can use. But the MACD can be another indicator that you keep in your... You know, uh, like I always tell people, uh, I use the cloud. You may not use the cloud. The way I look at it is the cloud helps me. Uh, it's kind of like trying to build a house without a hammer. I compare a cloud to a hammer. You can nail in nails with a wrench. I've done it before. I know it works, but do you really want to do that? Or do you want to hammer there with you? That's what I feel about some of these tools. You can make money without them, but do you really want to, uh, you know, take those chances whenever they're at your fingertips at your disposal? The way I look at it, guys, is the markets don't give you an edge. You have to take the edge. So you have to use these indicators to your advantage. Use as many of them as you want. That's why I always am on uh, Orox. It's because they let me use 10 indicators all at once if I want to. If I want to do that on trading, you have to pay $100. I'm not doing that, you know. It's like, man, I have the money, but I just don't think it's right. You know what I mean? They shouldn't charge you to use more indicators. That has nothing to do with, you know what I mean? It just bugs me. It's like, man, I'm your number one Bitcoin analyst. You're trying to charge me $100 so I can use four indicators? I don't think so. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to get off my soapbox there. But the MACD is quite a simple tool. And uh, like I said, uh, maybe I'll uh, make a part two to this video. I need to really do some research on it. But if you want to use the MACD, you don't need to know that much, guys. Go to Investopedia and do some research yourself. But you know the yellow lines above, bullish. Blue lines below, bullish. If the yellow lines below, it's the opposite. It's bearish. It's very simple, guys. It's like a, it's one of the most simple indicators. That's why I like about it. That's why I like the 50 MA, the 200 MA. They're all simple, and uh, they tell you exactly what you want to know just like that. You don't have to use any of your brains. It's just right there in front of you, and that's what the MACD is. It's a very useful tool, guys, and I highly recommend using it if you want it to be part of your trading repertoire. I don't necessarily keep it on the chart. It doesn't even mean I don't find it useful. In fact, I might start putting it on the charts now. Every time I, uh, I'll, I'll spend more time in the uh, TA world, and I find things that like I used to hate Bollinger Bands, and now I'm a real big fan. And MACD, it just something hit me while I was making this video. I might end up starting to keep that on the chart. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and uh, I appreciate you stopping by. And I'm gonna try to make one more video tonight, but. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and process this one and uh, get this show on the road. MACD is pretty simple, so I think I've already over-explained it. But uh, you have a good night, guys.